Alright, in order to play this deck to maximum efficiency, we need some tree puns because it's a treant deck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into Hearthstone and I'm going to make my opponents leave with how good my deck is. And, um, uh, I don't, I don't know a lot of tree palms. My bark is worse than my bite. There you go, nail it. Nailed it, nailed it. Ha, <laughs> this guy's toast. All right, jumping to a game with Token Tree and Druid. Who are up against Mage, who's kind of annoying with their board clear. What do we have? Acorn Barrier, which is nice. Great one drop. We're not starting first though, so that's kind of sad. I wonder how good Blessing of Ancient is. Maybe not that good. Or maybe really good. I forgot which one is more likely. Maybe it's really good. If we start with coin. Oh god, never mind. All my units are buff cards. All my cards are buff cards. Except my one Acorn Bearer. That's so bad. Okay, I need a top deck a minion here. I have... I drew five cards. Four of them were spells. If my turn to play as Token Druid is the hero power, the game's over. Ah, I guess I can replay the squirrels at the very least. Okay, I respect that. I, 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 I respect that. Uh, well, it's fine for me since I didn't have any other play. But this dude just spent a billion cards progressing zero on this and three on that wow not trading Are you sure you don't want to trade are you sure you don't want to trade you should trade I'll leave this up the safe play would be trade this in coin hero power Okay, what is this? Super quest mage? What am I looking at here? I want to send advice to trade in for him, right? If he has another elemental, he can draw three spells from his deck, right? Oh, that's so good. It's a free Arcane Missile against my token deck. It's really nice as well. Ah, oh, one actually went face. So it's three fourths of nature, which means they get to cast Aeroponics for free. If he has Blizzard or Flame Strike, he clears my board, which wouldn't be very nice of him. I have Double Savage Roar, which is 666. Six, six. I'm pretty sure it's just lethal. Okay, this didn't really count. He spent three cards to do nothing. Let the record show Super Quest Mage is bad. Don't play Super Quest Mage. Alright, I'm switching over to the Tree Hero. Which makes a lot of sense if I'm going to be playing a tree deck. The Hazel Bark, which is a really creeping looking tree. Look at this tree, man. She freaks me out just a tiny bit. Uh, Whispering in Woods, I think it's fine to keep if you're opening with coin. Beast of Wintervale, champion. And to you too. Okay, I thought we were having fun. Sanctuary. Okay. Ooh, what a nice combo. One drop into two drop. Oh, does he want to see uh, my emote? Wait, no, I've, just, I've shown that. 
Does she have any tree puns? I feel like Blizzard is missing out if there's no tree puns. And you hit him in the face, right? So the sanctuary thing doesn't trigger? Did he just give me... 10 mana? Did you just give me 10 mana? Uh, can he clear the board here with double consecration? Technically, yeah. Okay then, I'll take it. Mm, priest? Is there even a good priest deck on the market? What's this guy doing running priest? He's crazy. Right, the dream opener is turn one tree into turn two dendrologist. Or turn two shrubbery. Shrubbedeer. Oh my god. Okay, this is going to be a long, long game then. I have a 5 cost, an 8 cost, and a 9 cost. Yeah, we're going to have to try and drag this game out. I don't have a 1 drop, a 2 drop, a 3 drop, or a 4 drop. Not so good when you're playing Token Druid. So, it's going to be a long game. But we're up against Priest, so... I like those odds. Them's good odds. Please, are so sad. Do priests even have board clears now? They do, don't they? That new time card. Time rip. Two damage to all enemy units. For three mana. Volcanic potion on crack. Mm, that's a really healthy dragon. Oh god, okay. Long game it is. Long, 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 long game. Oh, actually, the defensive deck. Ooh, that's fine. Thanks for showing up, my cheaply cost unit. You came at the perfect time. Well, my mulch muncher would be pretty cheap now. So, yeah, we got that going for us. Alright, turn those trees into big kahunas! There you go. They're kind of wasted, right? The 2 2 would have traded in and we still would have died to the 5. Except the difference is I don't get the uh, mulch much reduction. Yeah, that was a mistake. I should have just traded in first so I can get much much reduction. That's my bad. This could be a 6 mana card. If I had a brain. Trade this off. Some another tree. Some more trees later. Yeah, this could be free if I played it correctly. This could cost 6 mana. I think it's gonna matter too. Especially with two of them in my hand. Big oh well, look at that big belly. Right, let's kill this. Get some of the five trees. He's gonna need a AOE. I think maybe I should trade it in the one one to play around that uh, priest card that deals. 
damage to everything. Oh, it's Zephyrus Galakrond. What's he gonna get? Blizzard? No, he's gonna get Consecration. Holy Nova. Damn you, Zephyrus. How do you always know what the best cards are? Damn you. I could have played this one. And now they're all gonna die. Oh god, see on Zephyrus. So he's gonna get another guaranteed board clear, like Flame Strike. Okay, if he plays it now. He's gonna get like I don't know what's he gonna get. Shadow Flame. Well, I guess Shadow Flame is technically better. Alright! Give me aeroponics, please, so I can get free cards. God, okay. Priest doesn't have that much board clear when it comes to spell, right? Mass Hysteria? Holy Nova? Taunt? Taunt is cheap. Aeroponics. Savage Roar, yes! Where are my trees at? Oh god, I had to sit through two Zephyrus board clears. GG. GG. Alright, tree enforcement and drawlogist. Tree oh god, face hunter. Face hunter is pretty good at killing trees. They use axes to chop down trees. They need one drops, right? That's some early game. Okay, I should just concede right now. Okay, top deck one drop. That's what you like to see. He kept four cards, so clearly his hand is pretty strong. But if I'm spending my turn 2 hero powering, it's got golden toxic reinforcement. That, that's toxic. That's really toxic. He wants them golden leper gnomes. If I attack him, what's the upside? I can always play around Explosive Trap, right? With um, Power of the Wild. Can we kill this? Oh, we don't have to. He's already. There's only misdirection and explosive traps. So, leaving this up for one round doesn't really matter. That's fine. We're gonna turn these trees into five fives. He's gonna think he doesn't have to clear them off, but uh, he's gonna feel very silly in a bit. Don't be huffer, don't be huffer. Nice, we just fine. Alright. We can threaten lethal with this play. He's gonna get the Lepanomes, but we're just gonna ignore them. Oh, 
going full smork. I like that. Luckily for you, I did the math here. Okay, never mind. I can potentially die. Okay, uh, the math has to be done correctly. 7 plus 7. 7 plus 7. You can attack with this, right? 7, 7, 28. I want to park misdirection. Is it explosive into misdirection here? The order is really important because if I Savage War first, I would end up killing myself on the Ancient because the two extra damage works against me. So that was the math going through my head. Trying to figure out the perfect order. And it was really important to figure out the perfect order. Because as you saw that there, if I played my Savage War and tried to use my Acorn Bearer to trade into the 4-4, four four, then the extra damage could work against me and end up killing me with that free damage. I think that play guarantees lethal because we know what the two secrets are run in that deck list, which is explosive and misdirection. Hey, lights out.